David sat at the old stand-up piano, letting his fingers play whatever they wanted to play. Although to the patrons of the restaurant, his music was a welcome background noise while they discussed life, work, and everything in between, David's mind wasn't in it. David couldn't stop thinking about where his life was taking him. He was, and still is, a very accomplished pianist. He was a studio musician where bands or solo artists who needed someone who was great with one particular instrument or several could ask the studio for a list of musicians that they would recommend. David was on several studio lists, but he was getting tired of it. He loved working, but it wasn't his own work. It was always someone else's. Occasionally someone in the restaurant would, as they walked out, drop a few bills or coins into David's tip jar. David would nod and say thank you as they walked past. As David was starting out, he had a standing relationship with the restaurant owner that for a 2% of the pool tips, he could play as often as he wanted to. Now it's become more of a hobby than about money. Here, take this, the owner Thomas would say as he handed a wad of cash into David's hand. No, oh, please, David said. I, I don't need it. You're skinny for one, and you need food, Thomas would reply. Plus, I want to help. Thank you, Thomas, but I'm fine. Studio is paying well, and I'm finally living downtown. My YouTube channel's even doing well. I, I really don't need the money. And why do you always look so sad? Thomas asked, concerned. I, I don't know. You always want more out of your own life. Huh, tell me about it. If I didn't get off my own ass at the bank and start up this joint, I would be a corporate ass kisser for the rest of my life. David smiled again as Thomas was called away to the kitchen. The conversation was a few days ago, and yet David was still reliving it. As more patrons would walk by, David started to play something he was working on his own. It was the first piece he created just for himself since he started taking money for music. Inspiration struck him in the middle of the night, and he played around on his keyboard, surrounded by the blue glow of the keyboard's LCD screen. But even with that inspiration, David had no idea it would be worth anything. It was too personal. Without thinking, David was hearing his own notes reverberate throughout the restaurant. No one took notice, and no one applauded when he was done. David didn't expect anyone to, except at his own fantasies. But he was still disappointed in himself for trying. No one would care. David decided right then and there, he would stick to covering other people's stuff. That way, no one would be disappointed. A well-to-do couple walked past him, smiled, and dropped a $50 bill and a business card in his jar. David looked up as the woman smiled and walked out the door. David stopped playing, reached in the jar, and picked up the card. It read in black pen ink, You play good tonight. I love that last song. Call me. David turned over the card to read Heather Trueheart, President, Trueheart Records. Okay, good. It's recording. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, this is Mitchell Moffat. He is the one who uh, made the song that uh, this story was inspired by. Uh, we just did an interview for This Week in Geek. You can be able to check out the uh, link in the description below. And where can we find uh, you, Mitchell? Uh, MitchellMoffitt.com if you want to check out my music and stuff or YouTube.com slash ASAP Science is all my other sort of science -y stuff that you can check out. Awesome. And there'll be an annotation somewhere on your head to, to be able to get to it. And, uh, uh, all right. Thank you, uh, Mitchell. Uh, and if you want to be able to subscribe, link is above. And uh, all my Twitter, Facebook, and all that stuff is linked in the description below. All right. So I'll see you next week. As always, I remain obedient to the oars. Bye. <laughs>